a paid program. Advice and opinions expressed during the program are solely that of higher insurance, not WBEV or Good Karma Brands. And welcome to Senior Solutions here on your hometown station, 95.3 WBEV, powered by Daily Dodge. Amy Hudson here alongside with Matt Heyer. I have a chocolate chip. I was trying to get the dragon's breath hotness out of my mouth with the chocolate chip cookie. Not a really good idea. We are live in the Daily Dodge TV studios and the Slumberland Furniture <laughs> Studios, and we are ready to go uh, to help you with your questions that you have about planning properly for retirement. Um, you don't have to be freaked out about that magical journey of Medicare because your higher insurance team will be right by your side. Legacy planning, uh, long-term care insurance. There's so many different things that your higher insurance team can help you with. And Matt Heyer with us here today. Hello and happy Friday. Happy Friday. How are we doing today? We are doing great today. Still on that Good Cover Brands, John Moser, Children's Radiothon kind of afterglow um had to do a little bit of a cool down with the team and um my mouth is starting to feel normal it was a good heat from the dragon's breath wings from zigs dragon's breath wings yes uh there must have been at least i would say eight different uh, peppers and spices and the moment i heard a uh, ghost pepper i was like oh okay, this is going to be challenging. And, uh, you know, it was because Wade brought in the least amount of dollars for Team Wade. It was uh, between Team Wade and Team Sherry right there. You just saw it on Daily Dodge TV. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's the, the loser was going to have to eat some dragon breath wings. And uh, Amanda from Ziggs brought those wings out here this morning. And someone had asked, anybody else want to try? So I like wings. I like the heat. Um, it wasn't too bad. Uh, but I think Wade ate like what, Ninja, like four or five of them. Oh, quite I had, a few. I had two or three. And it was just like I felt like my face was puffing up a little bit. My eyes were watery. But it wasn't crazy. And you know what, Matthew? Tasted really good. And Craig suggested uh, that they should uh, put them on the, the menu as like the John. I think it was either John or... Uh, uh, or Craig or Wade, who had suggested they put him on the menu as like the John Moser, you know, Dragon's Breath Wings, because I guess John loved the hot stuff. Really? I did not know that. I know. That's, Ever. well, I actually, like, um, I love wings too, but I, I not if I have to sign like a, a waiver or anything <laughs> like that. That we didn't have to do. There was no waiver involved, uh, but just, yeah, it was really fun. And uh, Ninja, you want to share the uh, final, well, not the final, final numbers, because as donations continue to come in, our match will still kick in. Uh, but Matt, have you heard uh, where we landed when we made the announcement shortly after nine? I have not, but I'm seeing it right now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's some pretty darn big. numbers. I know. Read the big numbers there, Ninja. Can you do that from your fancy screen? Absolutely. Our 2024 preliminary total before we get all the final counting and all the final stuff comes in from all of our Radiothon beneficiary partners. <laughs> we are looking at $133,711. And uh, I know I said that totally wrong, but more than 27 hours up at this point. Give me a break. And 60 <laughs> cents. 27-year uh, total. Let's see if I can get this one right. $2,796,663. And that number is only going to go up once we get our final count in place. That is, that is so cool. It is so very, very cool. And uh, so proud of uh, our community and so very appreciative. It, it's been a wonderful, it's been a wonderful week, wonderful couple of days. And I want to remind people that we do have events, you know, that happen throughout the entire year to support the Good Karma Brands, John Moser Children's Radiothon. So continue to check the Radiothon page at dailydodge.com and continue to click on the Daily Dodge TV tab at dailydodge.com so you can stream live and see Matt Hire in the Daily Dodge TV live. studios. <laughs> Are you more comfortable in front of the camera than when we first started? Uh, it's getting better. It's still different, you know, okay. but uh, like I, we can't do our hand gestures to each I know, other. I know, right? Little, well, we could still pass our little notes <laughs> oh, back <yeah>. and through. <laughs> <laughs> back and forth. So uh, you are looking forward to enjoying uh, Father's Day with your boys at a baseball field. Yes. Last uh, last weekend on Sunday. Fill us in. How did how did the games go? How was your Father's Day? Um, it was great. Yeah, uh, we I was at the baseball field. Obviously, <laughs> uh, we were in Portage, and uh, the kids played three games on Sunday. They actually made it to the championship. Oh my god, the championships! Yes. <gasps> 
did they start playing Queen? Was there champagne popping? Did the kids get like body passed, you know, like over the field? They were they were pretty pumped up. It was I think the parents were more excited <laughs> than the kids actually. But that is fantastic, Matt. Yeah, it was it was a really cool time, and now we get to do it all over again. <gasps> and Columbus actually starts tonight. Okay, that that's really great. What is Columbus known for? I like to know, uh, you know, what the little slogans are for all the cities, like Horicana City on the Marsh, uh, Mayville is Gateway to the Marsh. That, I'm going to Google. I should know this. I've been to Columbus countless times. What's that? The Redwood City. Oh my goodness! Hello, we have. Uh, Do you? grow up in Columbus or Wuhan? Uh, I was with the school in Columbus uh, through their entire system, which is why I'm so brilliant. And uh, And modest. Yeah, of course. Of course. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, love Columbus. Great, great city. The Redbud City. Redbud City. What is what is the redbud? They have a lot of uh, redbud trees oh, throughout okay. town. So. Excellent. You, see, you never know. Every you day's a learning something. day. <laughs> so I'm going to the redbud city tonight. Oh, oh, you're headed to the redbud city yep. tonight, Matt Hire. Well, good luck to the teams and congratulations to the boys. That's fantastic. Yes, and I have to tell his mother, like, as long as they're having fun. You know. Oh, is she one of those competitive moms? She's the competitive mother. I think sometimes, and I, I will put myself in, in this group, um, I'm not aggressive when I get excited, but I am very, imagine this, I'm a little loud uh, when, it, when I get excited, but I've seen, especially at the wrestling matches, my oldest daughter has been competing in high school wrestling for uh, two years now. Whoa, it gets intense. Um, and I just, uh, I... I, I don't know how to react when it starts to get over the top and people are being told, get off the mats. Like, if you don't quiet it down, you're going to have to get kicked out of here. I'm not being told that, but I see that happening. How's your wife in the in the bleachers at a baseball game? Oh, uh, she's she's yelling and she's, you know, making sure, like, she just has a one-track mind on our son, <laughs> you know. And it's like, just let him go, you know. he He's good and, you know, they let the coaches coach and stuff. But, no, yeah. it's, it's just fun and they're eight years old. I have to keep saying that. They're Perspective. Eight. Yes, but, no, they they they're having fun they love it and they got a really group good group of kids together so it's it's exciting even though i always i'm sarcastic about oh i'm going to be here it's it still is a lot of fun and yeah it's just brings back great memories of playing baseball absolutely and uh, i i'm really smiling here because uh i remember when you were talking about going to the children's museum <laughs> over spring break yes. <laughs> It's for the kids. Oh, you've come a long way, Matthew, and you had, you had the you had the best time at that children's museum. It was really cool, actually. So uh, have fun tonight. Good luck again to the boys yes. in the red mud city of Columbus. 885-4446 is the studio line, 885-4446. And you can also text us here on Senior Solutions at 887-9595. 887-9595 is the text line. If you have questions for Matt, you need some advice on retirement plan. You have questions about, you know, where to even start really securing your financial well-being. Um, if you want to know about any deadlines coming up for Medicare that you better not miss because there will be penalties most likely, uh, Matt and the higher insurance team can help you with those things and so many more things. So where would you like to start today, Matt Hire? Um, Well, basically in our industry, there's a lot of you know, advice given to people, you know, from your neighbors, your friends, your family, and it's, it's not cookie cutter, you know, like their situation is not your situation. And that's for retirement insurance, everything, you know, it's, everyone is different and everyone's needs are different. I like that, uh, how you phrase that your situation is not their situation or everyone's situation. I liked it so much. Now I can't even remember how you said it. It was good though. How did you word that? I don't remember. (laughs) A lot of, a lot of situations. We'll we'll go back to the audio page on dailydodge.com and uh, fire that up because that was good. Yeah, we need an instant replay. I'm trying to move my laptop so you don't see my my grandma arms there. There we go. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Now I feel better. Okay. Yeah. Well, like, I mean, just for instance, like this morning, uh, I had some clients in and they, they're they becoming the age of Medicare eligibility, which is which... 65 years old. All right. So all my 1959ers. Oh, man. It's time. I've got to... 11 years to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, you don't listen to this because in 11 years, who knows how different Medicare could be? 
are, are do you see a lot of changes like year to year in the industry? Um, is it like you know in in mild waves like every three to five years, or is it something that's a constant and there isn't a lot of change? So the commercials are saying there's change all the time. Every change day. is scary, but you know what? We can embrace that change curve, Matt. Higher. Well, and it's I mean, if there's change, it's through Congress. You know, so and it typically happens, you know, they'll pass it and it won't happen for a year or two. You know, so like there's no changes, but they're just trying to get you to answer the phone, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, or, or pick up and dial. I mean, that's that's where if there's changes, that's like front page news stuff. So is that playing on fears? It really it really is. It's just it's marketing, you mm -hmm. know which those darn marketers. Uh-oh, he's giving me the look. Ah. I'm, I'm one of those darn marketers, Got but it. a good darn marketer. Right, and that's why, and they might have a perfect product and stuff, but, you know, at higher insurance, we strive to be independent, you know, so, like, we have to contract with all these companies. Even if this their plan is terrible this year, that doesn't mean next year they might be great. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can't really be biased. Like, yes, we do we have our favorites? Absolutely, but it's because of x y and z you know so we just try to educate you you know whether it is retirement planning medicare social security and you're ultimately making the decision we give you the information inform you of the pros and cons of everything and you ultimately make the decision and that's how we try to you know generate you know a perfect plan for you and it's not your neighbor's situation and or my brother told me this and it, it's just different and it's because, uh, like, for instance, this morning, I, I told people, I was like, yep, you don't have to sign up for uh, Medicare. And was there like, a happy dance? Well, they're they're like, well, no. Uh, or, uh, but you? neighbor Bob said, I've <laughs> got to sign up, Matt Heyer. I know. And it's, it's like, well, that's why we scheduled this appointment. Why <laughs> why are we here then, you know? And it's it's like, no. it's And I told them because of why. And then typically I'll give them some literature. Like we have some Social Security books and Medicare books that – we can give you a highlight, you know, why they don't have to. And it, it, they had peace of mind. They were happy. You know, nothing happened, which mm -hmm. it's like, wait a second. I thought we were supposed to do something. Yeah, well, what about putting this into motion here? I know. And it's, but I just explained the process when we do, because basically when you turn 65, if you're retired, you do not have health, uh, group health insurance. Okay. Yeah. We got to sign up for Medicare. Absolutely. 90 days prior. Mm -hmm. And that's what we call our IEP acronym. Oh, uh, you know, I love a good acronym. All right, give me a second here. I I -E -P. E -P, something plan. Does the P stand for plan? Mm -mm. Um, implement with, for the I? Nope. I'm not going to get it. Tell us, Matt Heyer. What the I heck is an IEP? I do not think you're going to get it. It's uh, initial election period. Oh, I'm making note of that. Next time I'm going to get that, yeah, that I acronym. I know you love your acronyms. <laughs> um, but no, so that's, that's your IEP. So your initial okay. election period, you're turning 65. If you don't have insurance or a spouse is working with a larger employer of 20 or more, you have to sign up. Okay. Absolutely. Because you can get penalized for Medicare for two reasons. Oh. I know. And they're lifetime penalties, so we have to be aware of this. That is just unbelievable to me. Lifetime penalties. All right, I got it out. Continue. I know. It's... It's terrible, but at the same time, as long as we educate, you right. know, we shouldn't have to worry about that. But not signing up for Medicare Part B at the right time mm -hmm. during your IEP. Which is the initial enrollment period. Yes. Um, so that's that's a big one. And not having credible prescription drug coverage. Oh, okay. Yes. So credible prescription drug coverage. Up, up to Medicare standards, basically. Oh, I was like, is there any other kind other than credible? <laughs> Well, that back alley plan I have. No, exactly. What about the guy down there on the corner? Just I know. Kidding. And it's, but that's why, and so many people are like, well, I don't need a drug plan. I'm not on medication. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. But we still have to have something. Just in case? Yes. Because okay. I have had people in their 80s come to me and say, I need a drug plan. I'm like, oh, well, what do you have for a drug plan? They're like, I don't have one. And then we oh, try no. to sign them up. Okay. And, and their $10 a month plan is actually $75 a month. That's a big difference, especially for someone in that age range who most likely is living on a fixed income. Well, and I, that's the one thing that I wish um, the government, I'm always ripping on the government. You are. We used to <laughs> use that phrase, grind my gears. It really grinds well, my gears, Amy Hudson. It, it's just, it, it is frustrating because, you know, people, they didn't know that, you know, and they thought they were doing the right thing and they signed up at the right time. They got the plan, but they didn't do the drug plan because it wasn't relevant to them mm -hmm. at the time. You know, so it, that's their fault. And that's where I feel like if we could preach education, like the ADRC does an amazing job. They, yes, inform, they, do. they inform people of, you know, the deadlines, 
uh, what to look for, what not to look for, uh, the different plans. They don't actually go into companies, but they, they describe how they work, pros mm-hmm. and cons. Yeah, we had... Uh, um, Amanda. Uh, yeah, we had Amanda, <laughs> Jenny, and Ashley mm-hmm. on Hometowns Day uh, last week. It was fantastic. Yes, and I know they're excited for the fall, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's really great. I think they do it once a month. Yes, uh, uh, the, the Medicare classes. Yep. yep. And yeah, we talked about those. It, they're just great. And um, I really like when people are like, yep, we went to the ADRC thing. I was like, oh, great. You know, because they have a, I can, you know, start from the middle of my process rather than, all right, so there's Medicare, you know. And <laughs> uh, it's just really great because, you know, there is a lot of misleading stuff. And, you know, people are told this. And it's, there. We, we have to evaluate. So that's why I'm not prying our initial meeting, you know. I'm not saying, like, where do you work? How many employees are there? You know, it's wow, Matt. You're coming at me with everything, and that's that's how it may seem yeah. actually when I think about it. You know, being a fly on the wall, but it's that's why we just try to gain as much information and make the best educated decision. Mm-hmm. Educated. Yeah, that is the key word. That is really where everything starts, uh, and also helps to establish that trust. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, and just having transparency. You know, like. If they say, oh, I have group health, and they don't, it's like we could have a problem. We don't want any problems. So then those people that I had this morning, they're just like, okay, so what do I do? And I explain the process, how we could have a SEP. Oh, man. Okay, hang on. (laughs) S-E-P. Separate enrollment period? Close. Um, Sensational enrollment period. Well... (laughs) <laughs> we'll give her an A for effort. That it, it's a special enrollment period. Oh, I should have gotten yes. that. So okay. that is you create your own enrollment period, basically, where say you're 70 years old. You're like, all right, I'm getting off my group insurance. Now we got to sign up for Medicare. So we just have to do that a different way, you know, because we delayed our Part B. So we basically sign you up for Medicare, Part A, and then the Part B acts, actually, we have to just go – to your HR, have them fill out a request for employment information to prove to the government we had credible prescription drug coverage and health insurance. Okay. So do you have to memorize all this? No. (laughs) Leave that to me. (laughs) And that's why we we literally like doing this process for people so we know it's done right. And I always joke, you can yell at me if it's wrong, you know, just because we do it all the time. So it's – that is the process, and that's why there is no, like – I mean, yes, if everyone was just retired prior to 65, it would be easy. It's like we'd do it the same way every time. Sure, it doesn't work that way, though. No, people are working longer, and that's totally fine, and that's why we'll we'll make it work. Just We just need the information. So even a phone call, you know, if we do, you don't even have to come in. Just, hey, turn a Medicare eligible, but I'm working, I'm doing this. You know, what should I do? And it, it might be like a two-minute conversation. You Good. Know? You never know. Yeah, just – Call me, call me when you're done. And what is that number to call where MVP Jill is standing by at the higher insurance office? It is 920-887-0580. This is a paid program. <laughs> Advice and opinions expressed during the program are solely that of higher insurance, not WBEV or Good Comer Brands. How was that? That was actually right. great. And- <laughs> There's nothing there. She did it oh, by this, memory. This is Senior Solutions on your hometown station, 95.3 WBEV, powered by Daily Dodge. We are in the Slumberland Furniture Studios and the Daily Dodge TV Studios. So when you head to DailyDodge.com, super easy for you to click the Daily Dodge TV tab, or you can also stream on our YouTube channel by simply typing in Daily Dodge. It's easy, Matt, just like working with the higher insurance team. Easy oh, and seamless. That was a great segue. Thank you. <laughs> do you do this for a living? Uh, just, you know, every now and again. Of course, the phone lines are open. If you have questions for Matt, ring us up at 885-4446, 885-4446, and you can also text at 887-9595. I can't believe I even have to uh, look anywhere to reference those numbers after saying them so much during the Good Karma Brands John Moser Children's Radiothon, but you know, like I get nervous for not really nervous, but um, I I don't want to mess that up. I did that one time. I think I got a text message from Uncle Bill. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I just <laughs> it's just amazing how much I walk in and you, how much energy you had, and I was like, wow, weren't they just on for like twenty seven hours? Straight? Well, um, I I headed home uh, around six thirty last night. You got to sleep. I got to sleep. Ninja, however, Jack, we did have a, a few teammates that were here, um, you know, for the full twenty seven hours, and now it's been 
more than that. 27, 28, 20, are we about at the 30 hour mark for you, Ninja? Uh, yeah, I think I'll hit 30 or 31 before I walk <laughs> out the door today. Wow. Um, Jeff Charcuterie Hall uh, sent me a message <laughs> earlier asking if he was needed uh, until four. Um, and it was like, my response was sleep with a couple of explanation points. And then he had shared that he was so tired, he felt like he was wobbly drunk. You know, and that happens. I've only had to stay up for a full, um, twice in my entire life have I stayed awake for more than 24 hours. And I remember making that drive from Madison back home to Spring Green the first time. Um, and it was radio related. I did my first ever overnight shift. And uh Things looked like they were melting. I remember hitting Maisel Maisel. I'm like, oh, the road is all bubbly. <laughs> the stop sign is melting. I need some sleep. And then when we were moving here uh, from Greene County to Dodge County, uh, it was, uh, I don't know why I, I insisted that a few things must be moved in with us rather than letting the movers take everything. We were up like all night with uh, packing and then the walkthrough from the, the buyers was happening before the closing. We were, and there was a snowstorm on top of it. We left, I, I still feel bad. I'm sorry. I left that hundred gallon fish tank in our living room. Um, we were pulling <laughs> out of, <laughs> we were pulling out of the cul-de-sac and the, the buyers and the realtor were waiting for us. And uh, then we were awake. I think we were awake for about 30 hours. It was unbelievable. Have you ever stayed awake for a really long time so back in the day yeah like when we were younger like 10 years old you know playing video games staying up all night because we had a sleepover and it, zero effect on me oh if, if i if i don't get a proper amount of sleep i am just not a nice person are you a big old bear i just yeah it's your your little short fused i would say oh. you know <laughs> i feel like the kids volume is just a little bit louder sometimes sleep is a beautiful thing it is 885-4446 is the studio line for your questions for matt hire with higher insurance and of course you can also text i know sometimes people uh either don't want to hear themselves on the radio or they don't want to be recognized on the air. So certainly text in your questions at 887-9595. Charlie is in the studio, happy to uh, pass those messages along as he produces Senior Solutions today. So what is on the radar right now at Higher Insurance? Uh, it's kind of a quiet time of year as far as deadlines go. Yes, and that's a great time. Yeah, I was just <laughs> thinking you're probably really soaking that in, as you should. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, there's a lot of things that, you know, uh, like everyone knows the rules, like how I've been describing Medicare and how it works and stuff like that. But there are like unique situations, um, like for example, disability. Okay. If you're on disability, um, currently collecting disability through uh, Social Security, after 24 months, the government signed you up for Medicare. Oh, without you, without you, you having to do anything? They you, just automatically yep. do it? So you could be 30, 40, 50 years old? It, it does not matter. There's oh. no age. So all of a sudden, people get this card, and they're like, oh, I'm on Medicare. You still need something else. You okay. know, like we have to have an Advantage plan or supplement, you know, mm -hmm. and a prescription drug coverage. So it's we have to do something. What's up? When they receive that information that, you know, when they've been automatically signed up after being on disability for those 24 months, is there information that is included saying, hey, you have X, Y, and Z yet to complete? Or, again, are they left feeling kind of alone in that it, process? Absolutely not. There's nothing. It's just it explains, you know, like it's, here's your card, and then there's like a, like a booklet, and it talks about Medicare. and Medicare that, me. Uh, well, that's the big book. <laughs> but that's the scary part is because, you know, I just had someone come in and they're like, I was like, oh, when did you turn Medicare eligible? And they're like, oh, well, that was like uh, last year. I'm like, uh oh, oh, no, we need some. I mean, luckily, there was no claims. OK, you know, but at the same time, it's like you only have 80 percent coverage right now. That Amy. is not a good feeling. Yes. You oh, we have a call. call. Excellent. Thank you, Ninja. Uh, let's head to line one. Good morning. You're on the air with Matt Heyer for Senior Solutions. Uh, good morning. I have a question. Yeah. I keep getting all these phone calls from all over Wisconsin, uh, the United States, and they, shall we say, are quiet first, and then they start in on this tape about your new benefit, uh, benefits for Medicare. 
how do we get rid of all these phone calls? I've had five already today. Oh, my goodness. Have you recently ever tried to search for anything for Medicare or answered one of these calls at the at some point in time? Well, I've answered a few of them because they were in Wisconsin, and I wasn't sure of the phone number. Yeah, and that's usually what happens now. The marketers, they know that that is a real active line. Oh. So there is ways to block numbers. Um, I wish I could say that fully helps, but they'll just call from a different number. Obviously, you found that out. Yes. That but, has to feel like harassment. I mean, already it's not it even <laughs> noon, and, and you've had five phone calls. We're really sorry to hear that you're experiencing this. So no. blocking, that, that's I, one I would thing say to do? Blocking it or actually just um, going to your cellular store you know, whoever your carrier is and talking to them about it and seeing if there's something they could do above and beyond just, you know, blocking certain numbers. Yeah, maybe there is some kind of, uh, I, I have an app uh, that prevents like uh, annoying pop-up ads on my phone. You, you never know what, what is out there uh, that might be able to be of help. That's a good suggestion, Matt. There was also, um, I called one of my clients yesterday and they had some security... Uh, I, I don't know exactly what it, it's some kind of service that when I call them, they're like, please state your name. And it screens for robocalls. Like, so if it's a robot, they're not going to understand to, you know, like say their name. And then the call went through. So they got to see who was calling them and if it was a real person. So there is different situations. But I mean, I would go to my, you know, carrier, whether it's your, you know, your cell phone provider and just to see. But blocking the calls is step one. Um, it's not perfect or 100%, but then potentially going to your provider and seeing if there's anything else that can be done. Because I've blocked I don't know how many phone calls, and they still keep coming up with another phone number. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. It's, it's terrible. My mom actually had her own phone number calling herself. What? Yes. How does that happen? Because they can they can pick any number. They can, like you said, it can be, you know, it could say Beaver Dam. It could say, you know, mm -hmm. Madison, Wisconsin. So you think it's a local call, and sure. it, it's not. Oh, I'm so sorry that you're experiencing this, and uh, I think that's a great suggestion that Matt had, you know, taking your phone in or just making a call uh, to your service provider. Maybe they can help you with that um, because I can't imagine how frustrated you are feeling. If it's yeah, important, it's they'll leave a message. A pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why. Wait for the voicemail. I was going to say, Matt, you hit it on the head. We'd have a lot of people come in at the wireless store when I worked there. That was always my advice. If you don't recognize the number, don't answer it. If it's important, they'll leave you a voicemail. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a doctor's okay. office, they'll leave you a voicemail. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, call back in like a week or so and let us know how you're doing. Um, if you've had any success uh, reaching out, you know, to your phone carrier and uh, how everything's coming along, we, we hope things get better. Oh, uh, I hope so. Oh, yeah. Because it's like they use up an awful lot of time on the telephone. And <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to. My voicemail is blank and all the time and it's like. Why? Very frustrating. Yeah, start with a, a call or a visit to your uh, cell phone, phone provider and see what they might be able to help you with. Okay. All right. And anything How else that... How do they that... get away with getting all these phone numbers? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Ninja, do you have insight <laughs> into that? Is it just, you know, on a, on a list? Is the do not call list a thing anymore? Can people still get on that? It's a thing, but it's <laughs> it's still... It a does. lot of those calls aren't actually coming from within the United States, and the do not call list only applies to companies that are dialing outside of the continental United States. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of these corporations are selling your data. Yeah, that's another thing. We have to be really careful. Uh, you know, anytime we're, we're asked if we want to accept, you know, all those cookies and uh, where our information goes, I know it is a pain when we have to read through all this tiny, tiny, you know, print before we agree to something. But sometimes that's how our information gets out there. Okay. Well, we wish you luck, and, and we're with yeah. you. Uh, no one wants to be frustrated like that. We certainly appreciate you taking the time to call today. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a great Bye. weekend. Yep. Okay, bye-bye.
uh, 885-4446 is the studio line. And you can also text at 887-9595. And hearing her share what she's been dealing with regarding these calls uh, leads me right to that uh, area of uh, scammers. You know, because they can be just as annoying and really invasive. It is. And it, it's starting to get even more scary, like where some of these scam calls, they just want you to say yes in your voice. Yep. I refuse to say that. Yep. Because with AI and the technology they're using right now, they could buy a bunch of stuff just mm-hmm. with your voice, you know, authorization. It, it's it's scary. Um, so, yes, Ninja hit it on the head, too. It's They'll leave a voicemail if it's important. Yeah. And we're going to head back to the phone. Let's do it. Good afternoon. You are morning still, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, you are on the air with Matt Heyer and Senior Solutions. Uh, yeah, Matt, I just wanted to share with you a little tidbit that I came across. You were referencing in regards to people are hard to deal with when they don't get sleep. <laughs> yes. And so, Amy, because you like acronyms, uh, this story that I heard, um, they used the, tid, uh, the, excuse me, the acronym HALT. And that's in regards to when people are most difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. So H is for hungry when they're hungry. Okay. A is for angry when they're angry. (laughs) I love it. L is for lonely when they're lonely. And T is when they're tired. I love it. When you know that you're difficult to deal with with those situations, Mm -hmm. you're supposed to uh, reference halt, halt, you know, just take a step back and... uh, rectify whatever you need to, you know, deal with that situation and try not to be taken in or on other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all ugly when we're tired and hungry and, and, you know, the other situations too. When you get angry, you know, your fuse is really short. Yeah, that's yep. true. I love that. Thank you for taking the time to share that with us. And, and another halt. acronym. And another acronym. <laughs> so good advice with an acronym. Uh, what is your name? Uh, this is Marguerite. Marguerite, thank you so much for the call and uh, the fun info. I think we're we're going to use that. That reminds me a little bit of what I tell my my family and myself. Practice the pause. Yep. So uh, this is wonderful. Thank you very much. You enjoy your weekend. Yep, you too. Thank you. Eight eight five four 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 six is the studio line, and you can also give us a text at eight eight seven nine five nine five. Amy Hudson, along with Matt Heyer in the Slumberland Furniture Studios and the Daily Dodge TV Studios for Senior Solutions. We get together every Friday at 1110. We talk about big things. We talk about funny things. Uh, uh, but the big important things are really big and, and important regarding planning properly for retirement, understanding the ins and outs of Medicare, making sure that you have uh, you know, the proper insurance uh, for your needs. And I love that. Halt. Do you remember what they are? I wrote them down. You can't read them because look at that. Look uh, at that. Well, I, I know the H because it's, <laughs> it's getting around lunchtime. So. Hungry. Yes. Do you but, remember the A? Uh, angry. What about the L? The L, it would be lonely. And the T? Tired. Excellent. Thank you. I got to remember that. I mean, that's that's so true because, yes. you know, like I tell, pe- well, I tell people all the time, it's we're not guaranteed tomorrow. So mm-hmm. let's worry about today. Mm-hmm. You know, and make the most of it. That's all you can do. Yeah, you it know? really is. And it's so easy to say. But now, now I have halt in my mind. I like you know, that. I do. It's like, okay, well, I think I'm going to have to figure out the H <laughs> right when we're done with the show. <laughs> we have plenty of cookies. There might even be some uh, bacon biscuits from Great Harvest Bakery and Cafe left up there. It has been like a, a cafe of sorts here over the past couple of days with Good Karma Brands, John Moser, Children's Radiothon, and so many teammates here from other markets. We had teammates come in from Milwaukee and Madison helping with a variety of different things, and we greatly appreciate that. That was cool. I, I just heard uh, Craig earlier. Was he here? Yeah, he was oh. sitting in that very chair. I know. Kind of um, like Craig's courtside seats, but not quite. Yeah. <laughs> better. Well, I don't know. He probably has a better view of that. But no, it's. <laughs> uh, it was just really cool. To, he was like just talking about like different fundraisers and stuff that people do. And he was mentioning like, oh, yeah, you know. 50% of the proceeds go to your local, you know, communities. And he's like, wow, well, all of our proceeds yeah. goes to local. And that that is just so cool um, that, you know, there's no administration fees. There's no mm-hmm. hidden stuff. It's no. what we make is what goes out to the community, which is really cool. And that's – and the community – 
helped, you know, gather this. So yeah, we're but, all in it together. Yes. It, sleep or no sleep. <laughs> halt. Yeah. Halt. Right there. I like it. It's like practice the pause, but with more urgency. Yeah. Well, it's like uh, once I figure out the hunger thing, there's no way I'm going to be angry. <laughs> And then lonely, that's not always bad sometimes, you know? No. Some Peace. T- yeah. <laughs> uh, the days get hectic, they you do. know? And when you were talking about, uh, you know, tomorrow isn't guaranteed, you know, we always want to make the the most of today. That is so very important. And uh, just want to, I know she can't hear me, um, and I've never met your grandma, but from all the stories that you've shared, that your mom has shared, I love her, and she's 95, and today, when your mom was on uh, with us a few weeks ago here on Senior Solutions, she was sharing about how, um, you know, the conversation started uh, with your with your grandma about the, grandma. the cochlear implant, and yep. um, she's having that procedure today. Yes, grandma's going under the knife today. Oh my gosh, Matt. No. <laughs> Does that sound bad? Uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, she's, so my mom, I think... It's actually happening now, I think. Uh, but yeah, they went to Madison, uh, and her sister and brother came up too. So they're bringing grandma, and it's like this huge process. And I was really confused when my mom was explaining it. So okay. we'll have to have a celebrity appearance by her maybe next <gasps> week to get an update. But from what I gathered, the surgery, the implant is going to be placed today. And then okay. I think she has to go a full month without any sound, which that's currently what she's okay. at, you know, without sure. it. So. Um, and then it has to like learn her voice, like oh. so she has to like read books and stuff out loud. Okay, it's next level. Like, it's like, fascinating. It is. It's really cool, and that's why I do not want to butcher this, you know, and just make <laughs> stuff up. But Man, talking about knife, talking about yeah. butchering. Well, you should have been calling in last night for that quarter beef from Leroy's. I know. Just kidding. It's, but no, it, it's so it's really exciting because you know just uh, you see those videos, you know, like on Facebook where it's like the first time. You know, when the child hears his mother's yeah. voice, you know, it, it's just really cool. And I hope it works for her. That'd be great because uh, she always and my grandpa kind of said this, too. You know, they, they always felt like out of place and they just would say, yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm like, Grandpa, I didn't ask yes or no to something, you know, and because yeah. they, you know, they. They, they were struggling. Yeah. And, and they didn't want to show it. Well, and the hearing aids were picking up background noise. So, like, we they loved going out to eat with us and stuff, but mm-hmm. it was just really difficult for them. And that's why, if, you know, if you could bring this one thing back for grandma, I think it'd be so cool. So Aww. it's it's really exciting. It is it, exciting. And I hope everything goes well today and her recovery goes well. And it would be wonderful uh, to have Sandy join us to share an update or to call in to the show. And uh, your grandma's 95. Yeah. And it, it'll be really exciting because uh, I think she it's like an outpatient procedure. It's crazy to yes. me. Yes. And like if there's, you know, if she's not doing as well or something, they, they said they would keep her overnight, but sounds like she's just going to leave right after. It's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no time to waste. Yeah, In so and out. Exciting, though. So we will keep you updated on that because, I mean, that is just so cool. And, you know, and she's on Medicare. So mm-hmm. uh, Medicare must have approved it. So good. It's, it's really neat to, because. With hearing aids, Medicare really doesn't cover. You have we have talked about that before, and you've also shared that Costco actually is a great place to go for those hearing aids. That that is really you know because they're so expensive. Yes, and uh, insurance doesn't like to pay for them. I want to say people are getting pretty quality pairs at like fifteen hundred dollars. Wow, which I know people are like, wow, that's expensive, but there there could be some six to ten thousand dollars unbelievable this will be life-changing for your grandma i'm excited so it's uh yeah we'll keep you guys up to date on that and we'll have my mother talk about it (laughs) because that's i love it when you say my mother yes well i mean there's like six appointments every month like on the dot 30 days away yeah and where they're going to be testing it and toning it or a lot of stuff and i was like oh okay so so delicate like any i mean just oh i know it's and it's on the back of the ear. It's like oh, behind. Okay, did not know like that. Like on the skull. All right. Matt and I are both touching yeah. our ears right now. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> right on camera, Daily Dodge <laughs> TV. I love it. Um, but it is very delicate. How long does the procedure last? Do you know? Um, I think like two to three hours. Okay. So. Well, your I, mom a coffee drinker? She's yes. going to be pacing the halls there at UW-Madison and uh, hospital and caffeining up. Uh, caffeining it up probably you know it's i don't i don't know if she's nervous or not like i just talked to her for a split second this morning um but 
exciting times. We'll see. Yeah, no kidding. And when, you know, we mentioned about what Medicaid uh, will and, and won't pay for, there are some things that are very surprising that, um, like eyes, your ears, or something else, you used to sum it up like really uh, perfectly. Eyes, ears, and teeth. There you go. I was missing the teeth. Yeah. I don't have any missing teeth. But, that's, that's a good um, thing. But those are things that uh, aren't covered most of the time. Yes, it's, and that's why, the, but the Advantage plans have some coverage, you know, but also we're picking health insurance, you know, so we want to make sure. But, yeah, it's, you know, we do offer dental plans to people and vision plans, but I want your dentist to say, absolutely, I take that, you know, because we don't want surprises. Mm -hmm. No. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, I just thought of something that was really surprising, <laughs> but I did <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be big to share. Um, we had so much fun when we were in Milwaukee on the uh, uh, Brewers Bus trip with yep. with Rob Melick, and uh, he was just on the air with us this past Monday. Every it was third a Melick Monday. Monday. Every third Monday of the month, it's a Melick Monday. <laughs> um, speaking of surprises, uh, were you listening to the Brewers game or watching the Brewers game last Saturday? Because I thought about you and Rob uh, when Snoop Dogg showed oh, up. Oh, yes. <laughs> and threw out the first pitch. <laughs> and then hung out in the broadcast booth. Yes. It was fantastic. And I was like, wow, I wish that would have happened, you know, when I was there with Matt Heyer and Rob Mielek. Um, it was it was really great. That was a good surprise. Yes, I didn't get to see that one because I was at a tournament. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I did, I did uh, hear it. Uh, they talked about it the next day or something like that but yeah that'd be i heard he was up in the Isn't booth that too crazy yeah it just um it was great he had a show um at potawatomi i think so he was in the hood and just popped by so um yeah it was a good surprise and and i interrupted your story but yeah i'm sorry i know no <laughs> I'm like a squirrel. I forgot it too. So, uh, and we're coming up on just the last couple of minutes of senior solutions. Would you like to finish the story that I just interrupted because the, the surprise word that you said like made me think of that mm, story. <laughs> How would you like to wrap up the you show? Got, you then got today? me on Snoop Dogg. I was like, oh, I don't remember what I was saying actually. Now, um, yeah, that's kind of the show though. That's why I love you know doing this uh, because I mean I know I could just be like Ben Stein and just talk about Medicare the entire time. And yeah. it's, it's, it's dry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, but the, the main thing is, you know, uh, you can get the products we have at many other places too. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's who you want to work with, you know, and that's why we're always there to reach out and lend a hand to people or just give advice, you know, if that's all you need. And so, and we just love working with this community because born and raised here and it's really cool just to see the full circle and have your kids go to school and some of my friends that I went to school with are teaching my kids it's just it it's is full circle. wonderful yeah it is full circle uh share the number at the higher insurance office at the heritage mall where yep. MVP Jill is standing by ready to set those appointments yes yeah, set those appointments uh, <laughs> start setting Jill uh, let's go yeah uh 920-887-0580 and you know Jill does more than just set appointments at the higher insurance office she is a licensed uh insurance agent correct correct all right the moment I said that I was like I hope that's I, uh, correct <laughs> like, you gave me a weird look and I was like oh um it's Surprise. always <laughs> <laughs> it's always a pleasure, uh, Matt. Uh, good luck again uh, to the kids tonight in the Red Bud City of Columbus. Red Bud, thank you, Ninja. Championships, you said, right? Well, we let, we're, the goal is to make it to the championship. <laughs> let's let's do game one on Friday first. We'll we'll start there. All right. Well, good luck to uh, to the teams and have a great weekend. Yes, you too. Thank you. You're welcome, Matt Hire from your higher insurance team for Senior Solutions here on your hometown station, ninety five three WBEV powered. By Daily Dodge. This has been a paid program. Advice and opinions expressed during the program are solely that of higher insurance, not WBEV or Good Karma Brands.